Recently I finished my homeless dog painting and I was about to start a new one but I ran into a problem. I was out of medium. So today I am going to make some medium. Hello and welcome. My name is Char Alambos. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. And today I'm going to show you how to make classic medium that was taught to me by my old professor at MICA. If you're here for the bottom line, to make that mixture, it's one part Debar varnish, one part stand oil, and two parts turpentine. Now, if you want to see how I make it and talk more about it, stick around and I will show you. Anyhow, I was about to start a painting, which is actually going to be a cat painting. That's the photo I am going to use, but I needed some medium in order to paint. Why? Well, it's good to use it to thin out the paint a little bit so it flows off the brush onto the canvas nice and smoothly. You could buy some, but I was taught by my old professor, Michael Oconomos, who recently passed away, unfortunately, how to make your own. And ever since, I've been using it for all my paintings. And it works great. One thing I like about it is the little sheen that it leaves behind in your paintings. I did some quick research before filming and looked into the matter of the classic medium. There are people that are actually against using DeMar varnish in the mixture. Apparently it does yellow over time. But I'm going based on the trust I had from Michael Economos. I respected him as a teacher. And he's created a lot of paintings. Sometimes you come across a role model and you actually like their work. And when they teach you something, it sticks. I have not painted as long as he has. But so far, the medium that he taught me how to make seems to work pretty well. And prior to that, I would buy store brand mediums such as Liquin. But I noticed an improvement in my paintings, not just the technical aspects, but the actual sheen and appearance of the paint on the canvas. Anyhow, let's go straight to making some medium. Also, towards the end, I will talk about two important rules in painting which is lean to fat and thin to thick. And that applies to how you will use the medium in the end. Anyways, on to the demonstration. The items you will need to make this mixture will be Damar varnish, linseed stand oil, and this, even though it's not labeled, it's actually turpentine. And make sure it's pure gum of spirit. Sadly, that is hard to find in California nowadays. Anyhow, also, you would want a little container and a big container to make the mixture. And as you can see, the little container actually has some stuff already in it because I actually do use it. And this is the last of my medium too, so that's why I need to make more. To start off, If you're going to reuse bottles, make sure you remember what's actually in them. I for sure know this is not the Mar varnish because the cap is messed up. The first step you want to do is pour some stand oil. As you can see, the bottle doesn't have any measurements on it, but that's where you have to take a mental note. Considering that this bottle is this tall right here will be the halfway point and this will be the quarter point and honestly I did pour a little too much but it's not going to be a bother next is some Damar varnish as you can see I have a quarter of it in there so I'm going to go for this amount next And that should do it. And the final step will be my turpentine. And the reason I have it in a jar is it's hard to get in California. And this was from recycling when I used to use turpentine as a brush cleaner. And since I already got it up to here, I'm going to max out the bottle.
It might seem like a lot that I just made, but it's good to stock up because last time I made this mixture, it was a long time ago. After you mix the three ingredients, you give it a good shake. You'll probably see some bubbles, but that should go away eventually. To demonstrate the rules of lean to fat and thin to thick, I'm going to do a little demo. In the photo I see a shadow that is on the lighter tone of blue, and I want to kind of capture it. So I'm going to use these two colors, cobalt blue and zinc white, to make that mixture. It's not going to be the exact color, but it's going to be a good base coat. and only a small section too. Now I'm going to mix it. This is actually a little too blue, but I'm okay with this because it's only going to be a demo. I'm going to use my undiluted form of classic medium where it's going to be 50% turpentine, 25% stand oil, and 25% Damar varnish. I only put a little bit of it in this little cap because again this is only a demo. The way you want to mix paint into medium is to dab it a little bit with your brush and mix it until you get that desired consistency that you're going for. This is actually too thick for a base coat. So now I'm going to show you the version where it's more turpentine. Now this here is actually my diluted version where this is actually 12.5 stand oil, 12.5 Damar varnish, and 75% turpentine. Now I'm going to dab a little on my brush. Start mixing it. You can actually already see It's a lot thinner just from the mixture. But the turpentine really dilutes it. And this will be perfect for a base coat. So to sum it up, lean in the beginning, fat towards the end, or in other words, thin to thick. If you don't do that, you will have some problems with cracking and also layering in the end. Now that I have made my medium, I could actually start painting again. But this video is not going to show the actual painting. It's just going to be a quick demo on the thin to thick and also lean to fat rules. I'm going to show first why it's not the best idea to do thick first. And this is actually absolutely wrong. And I'm just going to paint that shadow where I kind of see it. And this is going to be the thinner batch. Thin, to thick, lean, to fat. It will be easier to paint on this than on this later on. Remember, I'm just applying the base coat. 
not finishing the painting. Keep in mind the reason you want to be very thin in the beginning is because you're really just applying the basic shapes and colors early on to establish the whole composition of the painting. If you go thicker, it's not going to work out towards the end when you're trying to do fine details. I mean, you could do texture and rough detail also towards the end, but again, towards the end. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them behind. I will get to them eventually. Anyway, time to start painting. So once again, my name is Charlotte Bose. I go by Bob. I am not your typical painter. Stay tuned for the creation of this painting. Bye.